Hey, and I'm excited to bring you this special video regarding Vegas Pro. New edition just came out today. The new version is Vegas Pro 17. This is a significant upgrade. It has at least 20 new features that they've added, and it's a lot to go through. So I'm just going to kind of touch on each one briefly, and then later I'm going to be making videos drilling down a little bit more on each, each new feature because some are fairly involved. So if you're interested in what the new features are, you just need to go to the help section and it'll tell you what's new in this version. And like I said, there's at least 20 things. And I really feel like this upgrade brings Vegas Pro in line with all the other NLEs out there, if not above and beyond them. So it's really exciting to see this happening because I've always been a huge fan of Vegas Pro and it's nice to see so much work being put into the program and it really being modernized. So I'm just going to go through each feature kind of quick and where everything is kind of at. So the first one really is nested timeline. Ideally, this would allow you to work on very complicated projects where there's a lot of files or even long projects and you bring them in. That's all local located down here, the buttons for this to create a nested timeline. This is actually fairly, can get fairly tricky. So you need to probably read up a little bit on it before you get started with nested timelines. I've had issues with nested timelines in the past. And in fact, I'll, the next video I do is going to be on nested timelines. But this is allows you to drill down into self-contained veg files and edit them without having to open up a new instance of Vegas. It used to be that every time you wanted to put a bunch of veg files on timeline, you'd have to open up a new instance of Vegas that's not true anymore. Now you can edit within the same instance of Vegas. But there's a lot to nested timelines. I really think almost for more advanced users, but it's for people that are really using Vegas for complicated or long projects. I think for most people, I don't know how much they would actually use nested timeline. Now the next feature is huge in my mind, and this is that they actually added a, a unified color grading window, and that's located down here. Technically, this is called the transport and editing toolbar down here, all this stuff down here. Right there on that icon, if you click it, now you've got this very resolve-ish kind of workflow that you can use. So this is fantastic. This is what everybody has, and now Vegas has it all in one place. And then while you're on it, you can also, if you create a LUT or a look, and now export it as well. This is fantastic. If you're familiar with editing and resolve, then you're gonna really love this and I am really looking forward to using this feature as well and then to exit out of this you just go exit now they've added new and improved storyboard functionality honestly I've never been a huge fan of storyboarding on here I just like to do everything on the timeline but they have added improvements to that they've added in a really cool transition that I think is really great to fun to play with I'll, ha I'll have to show you in another video but if you come in here to get to it it's a transition and it's called warp flow so you just come into transitions and warp flow let me split this clip for instance so you just add it as a transition so you would come here and drag it I had done some playing around with this and it's pretty cool it's better if you're editing between two shots that seem uh, like they can't be put together and it can actually put them together to make it look almost like a kind of a barely noticeable dissolve or something like that there's another plugin that they've added called the mesh warp you get into that through the effects the standard effects and that allows you to here it is mesh warp add and it allows you to distort your windows play around with stuff so see where did i add it it see all these buttons here and then you can you can start playing distorting their build however you want to with this effect i really have to look at this a little bit more but that seems like a pretty cool effect if you're wanting to kind of reorientate your image for some reason another plugin they added is for there's a couple actually all at once so i should just go in those all at once they've added slow motion improved slow motion so that's here now They've added lens correction, which is there now. And then they've improved the stabilizer function right here too. So there's been these three plugins have all been improved. And then this one too, this affects the white balance. If I add it, they've added an automatic color temperature to that as well. So they added lens correction, mesh warp, they improved stabilization, Vegas stabilization, and then they've added this slow motion. And from what I've been able to tell with experimenting with them, these are definitely improved over what they were. And they've also improved the motion tracking. They have some limited motion tracking that you can do in Vegas. And the only thing that I noticed that they've done different is when you're doing that workflow of the motion tracking, which you go in through, you use the Bezier masking for that. When you're going to pin the effect or whatever, if you're going to pin an effect, it's actually located under extensions now when you want to add text to a motion track or copy motion track to a picture in picture where it used to be under scripting and now they've added a whole huge thing related to high dynamic range or hdr they've improved that whole workflow honestly i haven't done much hdr but if you're interested in that 
you would just go into the help section we can go into the help section and you go to the index and if you go into HDR you can just set up follow these instructions for setting it up and then you add it in it but you're going to need a monitor a reference monitor that is capable of viewing HDR footage so I'm honestly haven't gotten into this HDR thing yet but it does seem like this is a trend and things are definitely seem like they're moving in that direction so now Vegas has some tools to be able to allow you to edit an HDR video they've added a uh, support for 8k and so there's some new formats that they've added experimental mkv support 10-bit intermediate format prores nvic and hardware decoding and then they've done some uh interface improvements which are which are good one of those related to that is if you're doing media text using like the legacy text one of the features is they've deprecated some of this so what you've got to do is if you go into options and preferences now there's a tab just for deprecated features and you can enable some of the legacy things that they're trying to retire. So you can bring these features back if you're interested in bringing back legacy text. Like I like legacy text, so I just enabled it here so I can. Some of the big things that they added, one of the big new features that they added is screen capture. So if you're on project media here, if you come up here, there's this icon now that says screen capture and it brings in this screen. It's pretty basic screen. It's a very rudimentary and you click here and you click here and it renders out to these are all enabled actually so click on it enables the video recording and you click there whatever your sound source is and then you click off and then it automatically when you you start recording like if you started recording there and you stop it it automatically renders to a capture folder that installed on your hard drive so it's pretty basic but i like them including this in the video editing software and hopefully now that they have something like this we'll actually start seeing even more tutorials on how to use vegas pro the screen capture i think is absolutely fantastic feature oh look i got a little bit of an error there or message which leads me to a point that i'd like to make is this is such a huge advance for vegas that i would imagine that the first build or two is going to have some bugs so don't get discouraged magix has been really good about addressing bugs if you have a bug you find a bug just report it to them and they'll fix it on the next build they usually release three or four builds per year each one addressing the bugs that they found so far so i'd imagine since there are so many new features added onto this that there's bound to be some bugs involved on the builds there's just no way for someone to test every possible Possibility. So don't get discouraged if you get the 17 and you get a, a bug or a crash. I, I think that's expected to happen on something with this much advances in it. The other thing is apparently there was an issue with the uh, motion tracking and that has all been resolved. So the, the motion tracking is fixed now and it, it tracks correctly. It used to be off, I think, by a frame or two. Now that's all been fixed and it's improved. They have some more sophisticated tracking algorithms in there now. So now the motion tracking is improved. And just to kind of wrap this up, there's two more features that Vegas Pro has added. And one is an automatic slideshow creator. And you can find that by going into the insert menu and come down here to slideshow. And this is just a way to kind of quick and easily create a slideshow on the slide. This is really a feature that was in Vegas Studio, the little brother to Vegas Pro, and they've added it to Vegas Pro. The other thing they've added, and this is, I imagine, for people that are just starting with Vegas Pro and they're not feeling very comfortable with using it and they want something to kind of guide them through the process there's a, a feature now if you come into i believe it's called the guided video creator and if you go into tools and you go to video and you click on this it kind of walks you through setting up a video with the audio and it kind of prompts you for all the steps that you need to do so that's if you're a brand new beginner and you really don't know what's going on that's a nice feature for beginners that's it for most of the key features that have been added all in all, I would say that this is a, a significant upgrade. I think it's worth it. Well, I've upgraded. I've definitely upgraded. And I think it's a fantastic pro. It's only getting better. Like I said, I'll be doing some tutorials later on these individual features that they've added, like the nesting and the HDR color grading. I have to get up to speed on some of that stuff myself. So overall, I think it's a great upgrade. I definitely think it's worth getting.